Right now, before we want to turn to your pinpoint weather 12 forecast, we're in a weather alert. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy is in the weather center tracking why we're in that alert. You know, it's all relative, Brittany, because today was hot, manageable though, compared to what we expect tomorrow. Yeah, today is some of that typical summer like heat that we're used to for the beginning of August. We have temperatures in the 80s, maybe about four to five degrees above average feels like the 90s. But tomorrow and Friday, it's going to be almost a completely different ballpark. We're seeing the actual air temperature back up into the 90s and those feel like temperatures well into the triple digit range. So it's going to be a lot, lot warmer for specifically Thursday and Friday. But we do see some concerns as we look forward to even this weekend. Here's a look out towards Newport you can see uh, pretty great views for today. It's been dry and sunny and the beach has been a very popular pick looking out towards Narragansett. You can see a lot of people in the water as well as uh, parked on the sand. I do think that will be a popular choice as we look forward to the next couple of days with people trying to head towards the coast to stay just a little cooler. Unfortunately, it will still be very hot even as you travel closer to the coast. It will still be pretty warm out there. Satellite and radar. You can see that wind direction pretty much out of the southwest at this point. We're going to continue to see a lot more hot and humid air move in overnight tonight as a warm front kind of marches across our area, lifts up across our region, bringing with it some much warmer conditions as we look forward to the next couple of days. So right now we're still in the 80s, 84 for Providence, 81 for Westerly and Newport. When even those uh, coastal spots are in the 80s, that's how you know it's pretty warm out there. Normally they're a little bit of some relief, but it really just doesn't feel that much better. Feels like 87 for Providence, 88 for Smithfield, 83 for Westerly again earlier this afternoon. It felt like the low 90s for a couple of spots. Threat tracker overnight tonight, very quiet. We're going to see clear skies, a little on the warm and muggy side, but the concern really doesn't start until tomorrow afternoon and then continues all the way through till Friday. So overnight tonight, mostly clear skies. You will be seeing a little bit of some patchy fog and some low cloud coverage start to develop as we head towards morning, but really most of the evening, very quiet and very clear. Now tomorrow, that's when things start to change. We're going to see lots of sunshine out there. Does stay dry. Those temperatures are in the 90s. Feels like closer to a, almost 100 and 103 because the air temperature is in the 90s. Those dew points are back up well into the 60s and 70s. So to put that into perspective again, this afternoon we felt like the low 90s for a couple of spots. As we look forward to Thursday and a Friday, you'll be feeling closer to that triple digit heat. A small drop for Saturday and Sunday, but still ve feeling very, very warm out there. The excess heat that has prompted a heat advisory for our area. Again, that heat index value anywhere from 100 to 105 for Thursday and Friday is for most of South or most of uh, Southern New England, with the exception of the Cape and islands. Those are not included, but we could see that change as we look forward to the next couple of days. Hour by hour forecast, very clear and quiet overall as far as clouds and showers. It's going to be dry out there for all of your Thursday. We start to see things change for Friday, a small chance for some showers, but overall very quiet conditions. It's really just the heat that we're going to be dealing with your seven day forecast. We do see an end in sight as we look forward to the weekend. Like I mentioned, we'll be dropping back down into the 80s. We do not see an official heat wave on the way. If on Saturday we do tag that 90 degree mark, that would make it three days straight. But because we didn't hit 90 today, we will be heat hitting 90 Thursday and Friday. We will not officially see a heat wave. Doesn't mean it's going to be feeling any less hot, though. Again, a chance for some showers both Friday as well as Saturday. Hot and humid conditions sticking around for the end of the weekend. Next week, we start to drop back down into the 80s.